Costa Rica, regarded as one of the happiest places in the world, is a delight to study. Join me as we explore the history, geography, and culture of this wonderful country and see what makes Costa Rica stand out. In 1502, Christopher Columbus landed in what is now Costa Rica, where natives brought him gold, lending the country its name of Rich Coast or Costa Rica. But Spain's settlement of the area occurred much later, in 1546, when they established the village of Cartago. The native population eventually diminished when the Spanish continued conquering more and more areas. Some fled to the jungles to evade the encomienda. For most of the Spanish colonial period, Costa Rica became the southernmost province of the Captaincy General of Guatemala, which was part of the Viceroyalty of New Spain. However, due to its distance from Guatemala, its legal prohibition from trading with its neighbors under Spanish law, the lack of resources, particularly in gold and silver, did no favors in attracting new settlers to the territory. As such, Costa Rica became a backwater colony, the poorest and most miserable Spanish colony in all America. Many of the settlers had to work their own lands as there was a severe lack of forced labor as most of the native inhabitants were able to evade Spanish rule or were so severely diminished. This prevented large haciendas from being established. Because of this, Costa Rica was left to grow on its own without the interference of the Spanish crown due to its lack of importance. The failure to build a colonial society based on indigenous and slave labor led to a peasant economy in the 1700s. By 1821, Costa Rica joined the Mexican Empire in its bid to free itself from the reins of the Spanish Empire. Other parts of Central America joined too. They eventually decided to create a singular state called the United Provinces of Central America. However, it was short-lived and Costa Rica opted for isolationism. The sudden interest in coffee cultivation amongst many leaders in Costa Rica initiated a trade boom where British traders invested in coffee plantations, which gave Costa Rica an advantage against other Latin American countries when it came to coffee cultivation. Costa Rica was not particularly safe from trouble against its neighbors as secession and outside involvement plagued the country during the 19th century. This is very apparent with Nicaragua, which began in 1825 and only ended in 1896 through a treaty. The 19th century allowed for the expansion of education in the country, the creation of additional infrastructure, and the growth of the economy, largely propelled by an increase in the export of coffee and sugar. The Catholic Church's influence also gradually declined during this time, and many institutions were secularized. This helped to strengthen democracy as the backbone of Costa Rica's politics and government. By the 20th century, Costa Rica suffered immensely economically. Conflicts within Central America discouraged tourism, one of Costa Rica's leading industries. Furthermore, refugees and victims of these said conflicts fled to the country, straining the economy of Costa Rica even more. Unemployment rose the price of oil skyrocketed, the inflation rate rose sharply. But after a few decades, the situation in Central America appeared to have stabilized, and by the 1990s, Costa Rica was once again continuing its journey towards becoming a stable democratic country. Tourism was at an all-time high, and the economy was on the rise again. And by the 21st century, Costa Rica would become one of the leading democratic countries in Central America. No wonder people are happy. The name of Costa Rica is an ironic name as it is not really a rich country. But it isn't as poor as other countries in Central America too. With a GDP of $69 billion, it can be considered one of the richer Central American countries. Costa Rica's agricultural industry 
involves the cultivation of sugarcane, pineapples, bananas, milk, oil palm fruit, fruit, oranges, watermelons, cassava, and rice. Heavy and light industries include medical equipment, food processing, textiles and clothing, construction materials, fertilizer, and plastic products. There is also a booming tourism industry present in the country, mostly due to the natural landscapes present in the country. It is connected to several cruise lines within Central America and the Caribbean. The flag is made of horizontal stripes of blue, white, red, white, and blue. The version flown by the government incorporates the National Coat of Arms. The coat of arms is made up of three volcanoes, which represent the three mountain ranges of the country, a valley between two bodies of water, which are the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea, and a merchant ship, which signifies the country's maritime past. Being in Central America, Costa Rica is known for its jungles. Costa Rica has a land area of 51,100 square kilometers, with the capital being in San Jose. It is a hot and humid place, with a year-round tropical climate. The only two seasons the country experiences are the wet and dry seasons. The maximum average temperature is 31 degrees Celsius, or 89 degrees Fahrenheit, while the minimum average temperature is 23 degrees Celsius or 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only is it full of jungles, Costa Rica is also known as a mountainous country. One of the most distinct features of the country is also its highest point, Mount Chiripo, which stands at approximately 3,800 meters or 13,000 feet. Many flora and fauna inhabit the jungles of the country. These include, but are not limited to, tapirs, tree frogs, wildcats, and 10,000 species of plants. Finally, Costa Rica is bordered to the north by Nicaragua and Panama to the south. Costa Rica's culture is shaped by its history and diverse population. With a population of around 5.3 million people, the country is home to mestizos, people with Spanish and native ancestry, as well as native minorities and individuals with black African descent. Nearly half of Costa Ricans are Catholic, but there are also other Christian denominations present. Costa Rica's culture is influenced by its natural surroundings with a focus on environmental conservation and biodiversity. Traditional music, dance, and cuisine are important aspects of Costa Rican culture, providing insight into its heritage and traditions. Let's delve into some popular foods from Costa Rica. First on our list is Gallo Pinto, a beloved dish that is a staple of Costa Rican cuisine. Originating from the country's rich agricultural heritage, Gallo Pinto is a flavorful combination of rice and beans, seasoned with a variety of spices. It is commonly enjoyed as a hearty breakfast or as a side dish with other meals throughout the day. Next up, we have batidos, refreshing fruit juices made from a medley of tropical fruits such as guava, pineapple, and mango. These thirst-quenching beverages are a favorite among locals and visitors alike enjoyed as a refreshing treat on hot days or as a complement to meals. Another traditional delight is chorreadas, corn pancakes that have been a part of Costa Rican cuisine for generations. Made from fresh corn and cooked on a griddle, chorreadas are often enjoyed as a savory snack or as a side dish with main meals. For a unique culinary experience, try pejibaye, a fruit native to Costa Rica that is cooked in salt water and served as a savory snack or side dish. With its rich flavor and creamy texture, Pejibaye offers a taste of Costa Rica's diverse tropical bounty. And let's not forget about chifrijo, a simple yet satisfying dish consisting of fried pork and beans. 
This savory delight is a popular choice for casual dining and is often enjoyed with friends and family during social gatherings. We also have rondon, a seafood stew bursting with flavors from coconut milk, herbs, and spices. This hearty dish reflects Costa Rica's coastal culinary traditions and is often enjoyed as a comforting meal on cooler evenings or during special occasions. Let's not forget the influential people from Costa Rica, too. Here are some of them. Juan Santa Maria, considered the national hero of the country. Paulo Juancho Watson, former football player and now football coach who played for Manchester City. Francisco Amigetti, the famous Costa Rican painter. Clodomiro Picado Twite, who is famous for his work on snake venom and the development of various anti-venom medicine. And finally, Jose Maria Castro Madrid, a former president known for being prevented from completing both his terms by the military. If you enjoyed this video on Costa Rica, you'll love this next one.